Well, we'll start here. I'm getting my handy dandy tape measure to go in and hang pictures up. I've actually located, uh, relocated New Hampshire. The topic of the day today is foundation to this garage, which one of these bays will be mine um, once, once they're done. But these guys are working tirelessly to get the concrete poured today at, um, at one o'clock. The next thing I want to note is the sheer ginormous size of this oak tree. The house is probably 30 feet tall to the roof, and it's probably another 30 feet up on that oak tree. Just absolutely fascinating how big this tree is. It's an old growth tree, and they manipulate the landscape around the tree to keep the tree there. Got a handy dandy porta potty for these guys. Um, but I mean, you can see the base of this tree. It's just ginormous. I'm fascinated at this tree. It is so old and so big. So right behind me, I have a church that plays its church bells three times a day. I really quite enjoy that. Some of these houses are a lot older. I mean, all these houses were built in the 1800s, so or close to the 1900s. Love this place. Um, even though I'm downtown and people are a little bit weird, kind of like Seattle, uh, in the downtown region, this is going up my stairs to the back. And the stairs are super steep because they were built in 1800s. Um, probably been repurposed quite a few times. Walk in, I got nice clean, nice clean little setup here. I've kind of got all moved in. I hurt because I've uh, moved everything in. This actually goes out to the front, uh, but I'm just locking it up and using it as storage because the back door is just fine. I'm getting all my stuff situated, dates and times, and I'm going to get that hung up. That's why I had to go get the tape measure. And then out front is the park, and they're actually putting in brand new sidewalks. In fact, on this other window, I'm going to put that up too. Out this other window, you can actually see them laying them. Just brand new bricks and sand. So it'll be a brand new paved street. New, uh, new bricked uh, street walk. So I may use that front door a little bit more. Um, the kitchen's really interesting. It's got a two step down from the living room into what would be traditionally a dining room. I've turned it into my office, but the kitchen's kind of cute. Um, it's not stainless, but the guy downstairs seems to seem like he's going to step it up. I got to get a nail on that. It's kind of sideways, um, but I'm kind of getting situated. Then the bathroom is newly updated. And when I say newly updated, I don't mean just newly updated. I mean, there's still the sand from the grout on the bathroom. So, um, glass door. In fact, I need to close that glass door while we're joking. So, completely clean, new, brand new bathroom in an 1860 house. I'm Still getting situated, bear with me. And then this is going to be my ironing slash storage room. Because he put washers and dryers in here. And I mean, when he put washers and dryers in, he did he redid the, redid the floors around it. I mean, absolutely immaculate job. 
but right now it's just kind of a a throw place for me and then you look out the back and that's that's where the garages will be I imagine I probably will lose a little bit of the view but um, one of those bays one of those three bays is mine so yeah anyways um, just wanted to show you guys the place and see how the ceiling is this is one of the things that attracted me it's got an opening uh, skylight up on top and then we got Brent with Saragoto playing so